Wakurugenzi kuna mjamaa mzee life ilikuwa <coughs> haijakuja kupiga na yeye selfie instead ilikuwa inamtandika makombora proper proper ni mtu miaka zake 41 a alifraya ilikuwa imemfanya ile kitu na kila time alikuwa anashinda akiomba god maze god mimi siji utakacheza haja jo lakini nionyeshe tu mpenyo mahali tu nipite katikati kikalonzo aki nipone but kitu ni kama ikuwa ikam baka aka resign to the fact that kuna wase walikam kwa hii life wa omoke kuna wase walikam kwa hii life wa kule ngori <laughs> mimi ni hao na akakubali december 1999 anapata ripoti kutoka kwa auntie yake anamwambia niaje baba akwa foti wa ndio lakini anaitwa baba baba <laughs> kuja uone auntie yako sisiki vizuri na kuna one two nataka tuongee na wewe so jamaa teke teke anaenda kwa anti anti anaishi fiti life ilimkubali ako sawa but anapata anti kwa deathbed anti anamwambia maze jo hapa sioni kama ninamaliza wiki mbili siku zangu zimefika mwisho na we unajua kwetu tulizaliwa tu watu wawili mimi na mama yako mimi sikubarikiwa kupata mtoto na unajua mama yako alibarikiwa akakupata wewe So you're the only family that I have right now. Sina mtu mwingine. Niko na estate hapa worth 1.5 million dollars. Na nimeona hakuna haja hii kitu iende kwa serikali na we uko hapa. Ini kitu inaweza kushinda kuchunga kweli. Akamwambia, "We later tutapambana nayo." Akapatiwa estate 1.5 million pale. Na anti aka akaaga haikuwa december nimedanganya ilikuwa mahali hapo man july august september 2000, 1999 between hapo na december i don't know what happened but alikutana tu na umati wakamwambia mtoto wa Mungu Yesu Kristo anakuja tarehe moja. Akajiita mkutano akajiuliza niko na estate mzima hapa ya 1.5 million nitahitaji hii estate mbinguni Akaenda kwa kanisa akapatiana kila kitu Sababu tarehe moja tutakuwa kwa stage ya zayuni tukingoja Oi guy Is 22 years later Anangoja anangoja mali amepeana amekuta yani hiyo ngori imemtandika the guy is in, is in his 70s anakula ngori sababu aki aliweka hopes kwa vitu ambazo hajaona haki tum siju tumfanyie nini tumpatie tu a moment of silence sidhani kuna mtu ameumia hii dunia kama umjama let's give this guy a moment of silence as species anaanza hii kipindi Kurugenzi <laughs> My man yo 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 young and stupid season 4 na kama K is fresh out the kitchen man hata kama hakuna jikoni nyuma yangu you just know it's fresh it's fresh man muko salama watu wangu muko fresh ina wabamba ona vile na wasalimia tena ni kama sikuwa nimewasalimia 10 minutes ago is <laughs> watu wa nyumbani wanahatanga vitu nyingi sana hapa man <laughs> Sijui kama mumenotisa. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Isn't it vitu mumekuwa mkiulizia sana? Who am I to say no? Luku si luku. Ah. So who did zimeingia zimewasili. Kuna kitu imenifurahisha kama ile rate 
wale watu tuko na deni yao wanafanya kazi hii kitu tu yeah. yeah. hey, Africa jacket wewe wako na pesa yetu nyingi wasijaribu kukufa na nimuonia na wajalipa wewe eh yeah. hiyo kitu ah love it kali man alafu baridi inacheza na sisi yani jua iliwaka two days ago nikajiuliza god wakati tu mali imefika <laughs> unafungulia jua ai akaniambia worry no more you know why gabriel washa hiyo ac ikitu ah imekuwa true so yeah you can get it you can get it Uh, pale kwa website ndio bado watu jazi upload kuna ma graphics zinafanywa kidogo ndio hii picha itokeleze pale but soon soon leo mkitaka pale nje maze in case you're wondering kiatu eh si mnajua tu you know to kijana luku baridi yako in the house mtamuona baadaye ananipigishia mambo safi sana hapa hey, Jesse. Jesse jesi anafanya anapewa loan siku hizi haraka haraka ingia tu kwa bank tu hey akona kia tu safi mpige loan mpige loan huyu atalipa nice wadao last couple of uh, is it months weeks weeks <laughs> last couple <laughs> last couple of weeks nilikuwa naongea story sana ya my investment investment wenye walikuwa hapa last uh, live recording mnakumbuka tukiongea juu Africa's pocket nakumbuka in fact bado tunaendelea na hiyo story wamesema just tell them like two more two more aki ndio watu waone importance ya proper investment na nikasema ni sawa i got stories for days man na leo nataka niwapigie story ya jamaa fulani anaitwa Scott Storch Scott Storch is a legendary but niko sure watu wengi hapa wamjui so kabla nianze let me let me just do a quick survey yeah? Wangapi hapa tulizaliwa between 1980 na 1995? Between 1980 na 1995. Jesus Christ. Nyinyi wengine ni wa 96. What? Watoto wa after 95 wananipatianga tu depression. Like we are fossils. Sisi ni wazee. Nimekuwa na azi ya juzi na mpigia story hapo nikiwa very excited. <laughs> So imagine if I tell you kutana na Mr. Lenny hii <laughs> nilifurahisha Azad <laughs> Mr. Who? Ujui Mr. Lenny? You don't know Mr. Lenny? Kwani Mr. Lenny alikuwa me hit sana 2003. Kwani 2003 ulikuwa how old? Two and a half. Guy. Oh, nilisikia hapa. Hiyo wiki ya birthday yangu it was not the best. Kila kitu ilikuwa inanikumbusha tu vile mimi ni mzee. Nimeshaambia wase no 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 hakuna kuniita mzee I am 35. Na imesemekana very clearly youth ni 18 to 35. So niko na 11 more months to go. Bim Kurugenzi akanifungulia kitabu fulani hapo akanionyesha UN nini yao vile inasema youth is 15 to 24 I have been a fossil for 10 years <laughs> Wah wow. Aidhuru Anyway the reason nilikuwa nauliza sana history ya age ni history ni tricky like history usiporelate na ngoma za unse Scott Storch history inaweza kosa kwenda home Now that's dangerous. It's dangerous. So, tuinue tu mkono tena kama ulikuwa una, unajijua between 1980 to 1995. Tafadhali, tuinue tu tusiogope. Ndio nijue kama history naibadilisha ama naendelea nayo. Okay, sawa. Sawa. I think naweza take risk nayo. Wangapi tunapenda mziki? Ah, good. Hapo pia tuko safe. Nice. So wadau, sometime in the 70s, to be precise 1973, a little bouncing baby boy was born. Mahali panaitwa Long Island, New York. 
kijana alizaliwa tu hivi kama ameanza kusumbua ni mtu uh, ni, ni mtukutu kijana ajui system ajui sheria nothing huyu kijana anaitwa Scott Storch Scott Storch ni jina pengine amjaisikia lakini my hope ni at the end of his story mtakao mmejua kitu about Scott Storch So Scott Storch anaraisiwa na baba yake na mama yake unfortunately uh, the parents wana separate mama anaenda kuishi South Florida baba anaenda Philly Philadelphia so ako in between anaenda kwa mama na bangaiza South Florida but sasa kichwa ngumu inazidi mama anaona huyu mtoto sitawezana na yeye wacha nimsukume kwa baba yake wapi Philadelphia so Scott Storch is shipped to Philadelphia kwenda kuishi na baba yake wanaishi na baba yake vizuri anapiga education yake education ya primary <laughs> vizuri anamaliza but akiwa mahali hapo ninth grade kitu inamuuliza lakini unaendaga shule kufanya nini hakuna kitu unashika unapenda sports hawakuweki kwa team ile mara kidogo wanakuweka unakula injuries iko siku alipigwa hockey ball ya mdomo meno akawa hapo eh hey, hiyo ni aje wase meno is on the ground but scott torch was a super talented pianist like extremely talented scott torch ya piano like hiyo ni inborn si kitu unaweza learn ni hiyo ni ya kuzaliwa anagongaga piano design nyingine ni kama mtu anacheza drums lakini vitu zinatoka hapo wewe fire so kila time akienda sports afukuzwe anarudi kwa piano yake akienda sports agongwe meno itoke piano yake akihepa chuo juu ajiski piano yake so mzee alikuwa anamkazia sana mzee enda shule enda shule nini ah, akaanza kuona pia unzae akwende huko hii shule mr mbui mimi wacha ni nitakuwa natoka nikaenda chuo na kula tu malap huko philadelphia nini nini na panda panda ma train nazunguka ikifika jioni narudi mtaa so akaanza kudu hivyo alamka asubuhi anaenda na panda ma train huko fili anapiga malap jioni ikifika anarudi one of those days mzee akiwa ma, lap zake ndani ya train anakutana na jamaa anaitwa Nichols wanaongeleshana na Nichols hapo nini nini wanasalimiana ah oh, okay wanajuana juana then Nichols ana discover this is actually a protege ni hatari sana huyu is a genius ikifika storya ya keyboard na piano anamwambia mtu wangu hii ni phone namba yangu nataka tuongee keep in mind at the time Scott Storch is 14 ni mtoi So anachukua namba ya Nichols anaenda na kana yao mtaa anapata time weekend anavutia Nichols Nichols anamwambia ni aje niko fili come studio to to bonge 1212 Scott Storch anaingia studio anapata Nichols ni manager wa a very very popular and famous hip hop group that time ilikuwa inaitwa The Roots hapa nimewapoteza nyinyi wote but don't worry oh kuna watu wanajua The Roots Ah good I love it tuendele So ana ana ko introduce to the roots maze in fact Nichols anambia band members akina quest love hapo u boy ni atari keyboard mnaonaje kwa hii band yetu si anaweza cheza gai kitu akaambiwa ingia So Scott Storch started playing keys for a band when he was 14 ni hata ja break voice hi hi ni F major 14 and he played for them baka i think akafika around 18 18 19 apo and they did beautiful music together in fact one of the tracks walifanya ni track ambayo ili eh, pigwa hapo na the roots featuring erica badu species ni gonge tu 30 seconds ya hiyo muziki wasikie tu the kind of pianist scott storch alikuwa species Yo song ilipigwa na mtu I think ajafika 18. Umesikia ako ka melody eh? Fire. But eventually, unajua pia ukishagonga kitu for some time, 
unaanza kuona naweza kuwa greater than this kila place tukienda na kuwa introduced as keyboardist with the roots mimi sitaki kuitwa keyboardist with the roots mimi nataka kuitwa scott torch juu ndo jina yangu mimi ni hatari man vitu nimekuwa nikiproduce nikigonga hapa si mchezo hiki tu naweza jifanyia kwa nini mzee ni nikae tu kwa shadows za wase okay ni wa deadly tunakubali but no that's not what i want i want to be scott torch so scott and i make decision and ambia nichols the manager ni aje mtu yangu imekuwa safi ita yote ni meji bamba deadly but na feel na need to spread wings tafadhali tu nipatie ruhusa wacha mimi ni gonge gonge mziki hapa na pa hapa na pale and nichols was so much about it akamwambia yo inaeleweka we ni genius like sijui kama unajua maze ability zako i don't know if you know but we ni mse unaenda fa sana so mimi na ku release but tukiwa na gig tukuite unaweza tupigia akamwambia yeah, by all means man mbona una worry worry no more bro you know why I got you. I got you man. Nicholas akamwachilia na Scott akaanza kufanya mambo yake, mambo yake, mambo yake nini 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 nini. In fact, the song that has just played ili produce hiyo time right after ametoka The Roots. Alikuwa na produce hiyo song for the man itwa Jill Scott but was for The Roots wakaisikia since alienda ku set up shop hapa juu yao. <laughs> so wakiwa tu kwa makorido wanasikia masauti tamutamu zinatoka huku wakapanda. Eh, hey, hiyo song ni ya nani? Ni ya Jill Scott. Eh, hey, wewe we. Weka Erika Badu kwa hii song na usiambie Jill Scott tumemfanya mbaya. Pap na song ikatoka. Grammy straight. So uh, sasa Scott Storch ako peke yake. The Roots wanafanya mambo yao, but The Roots wakiwa na magig bigi bigi wanaita Scott. Ni aje Scott tuko na gig mahali. Come. One day The Roots wanapata gig in the land of entertainment place inaitwa California mta Los Angeles uko ndio sasa entertainment imekita mizizi so wana call storch wanamwambia niaje storch tumepata gig ele unaonaje uko na idhau kama tucheze keys akamwambia ya yeah, tunaenda ele sija wife ka ele mbona nikatai hiyo gig twende mtu wangu twende so they fly to California mazao wanafika wana set up nini nini na wanaanza ku jam wakingojea siku ya gig unajua vile before gig ifike mnafanya gamari ya sol zenu so wakiwa tu pale kwa process ya jamming 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 them flani akotuma lap zake anapita anasikia wait hizo ni ngoma za roots roots ni wa hometown yangu Philadelphia hebu niingie nichungulie nione kama ni yao ama ni wase tu wengine wana jam hizi ngoma zao anaingia anapata yes Roots ndio wako pale na pale kwa keys kuna rafiki yake sana kijana anaitwa Scott Storch this lady ni mrembo anaitwa EVE mnakumbuka hiyo who's that girl yes yes that one so Scott maze wanakutana na Eve chief umekam ele aambia mazemi hata ni aso wa roots wamenileta sikuwa najua hata nitakutana na wewe akawaambia mazemi mtu yangu nataka nikukutanishe na mtu wewe utafurahi utafurahi akamshika mkono akamwambia wewe ukimaliza tu gigi nini rehearsal zako ni show akamwambia hata tumekafunga twende eve akamshika mkono wanaenda akimwambia guess what nilikuja LA nikasainiwa na one of the biggest record labels in Los Angeles nataka niende nikupeleke kwa huyo producer au producer wa dawa if alishika kijana wa Philadelphia mkono akampeleka mahali panaitwa Aftermath Records owned by the legendary Dr. Dre In fact hata tu designed ya kurudisha mkono eh, a few I think years later Scott Storch alifanyia Eve track moja tu ya unajua ile track ya kumrudishia Shukran akamgongea hii track species twende kazi
Kata hiyo kitu species. Kata hiyo. Kata. Ajoi ni, ni video so imeanzia kwa nini but hiyo instrumental mmeisikia? Mnaijua? Let me blow your mind. Ilienda ika uko Billboard top 100 ilikuwa number 1 sijui for 20 weeks. So turudi turudi hapa Juma. Mali kijana amepelekwa na Eve kwa huyu legendary producer Dr. Dre. Kwanza amengojea Dr. Dre for two hours sababu Dr. Dre is a busy man. Ni mtu mazea yani kumpata ni ngumu. But amengoja juu. Hey, ni Dr. Dre man. After two hours Dre anatokea ni aje buda. Utengeneza anga beats. Maniga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So anachukuliwa anaingizwa kwa studio anaambiwa uko na kitu umeprepare score hana but ni, ni genius so anagonga tu mavitu hapo nice nice in fact kuna kijana anataka kukama hapa saa hii ni kijana wa Detroit nataka umgongee kitu nimesikia instrumentals umegonga gonga hapo wewe unaweza piga ka something scott stoch hana idea amebangaiza Jamaa anaingia pale amedai nywele white na yeye mwenyewe ni mwhite kijana wa Detroit ni Marshall Mathers aka Eminem Eminem Maze Scott Storch ako in this belief na gongea Eminem track maze so wakapiga track sikumbuke kani haikuwa maana hii sikumbuki ilikuwa track gani but walicheza na Dr Dre alipenda Scott Storch deadly akamwambia hii gigi yenu ikisha unarudi Philadelphia eh usirudi Hotel ni how much? Kwa ni hotel ni how much? Wewe ingia pale wewe. Toka Sabina Joy, ingia Intercontinental. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Ndakuweka hapa mpaka ile siku ndakwambia sasa tuko sawa unaweza rudi mtaa. Na ikakuwa ndio hivyo. At that particular time, Dr. Dre alikuwa anatengeneza album. Hii album inaitwa Chronic 2001. Amepiga album imeisha. Imeenda imesikizwa hapo na kikao. Kwa room kuna Snoop Dogg ako pale, kuna kina DOC, ni squad yao ya zamani huko wakiwa Compton na kina Ice Cube hizo time. So wanasikiza album Chronic na album inawabamba but kwa kila album lazima kukuwe na song inaitwa go the breakout song. Kuna ile song yenyewe mwanzo ya Sauti Sol, Lazizi was the breakout song. Hiyo ndio song mliwajua nao, si ndio? Every album needs to have that breakout song. Hiyo ndio standard. Chronic ya Dr. Dre unfortunately did not have it. So wameka kwa studio, washa come to an agreement, we cannot release it. Why? Tuna miss. There's something that we are missing. So kidogo kidogo hapo ma discussions zinapigwa. Inagundulika kuna kijana ako New York. He's an ardent fan of Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Like ana wapenda deadly. Nani anaweza guess who kijana ni nani? Hii nilijua hii itawapata off. <laughs> Because wale wasi wanajua hip hop wanajua New York na West Coast walikuwa na beef mbaya. To think that there's someone huko anapenda hao watu to death inaka unrealistic. Wakurugenzi believe it or not. The young chap in New York Yani ana adore Snoop na Dr Dre ni kijana anaitwa Sean Carter aka Jay-Z. Yes. Anaitwa Sean Carter by the way. So ikasemekana hapo tu kwa studio. Jay-Z is in love with sound yenu ni wawili. He's willing to write down a song for you guys. Misha do a whole album. Hakuna kitu mpya mtaongeza. How about mget tu wenyewe ukijana wa New York afanye tu kitu kwa hii song muone kama hii song itaenda mahali you never know just give him a chance Dre akasema you know what we are doing it but you see you can't just tell him to write from lazima umtengeneze track si ndio ndio aende andike mistari zake na hii track wako na hiyo track uliwa bear So wako hapo wanangangana juu even before Jay-Z puts down the lyrics. Hii track lazima ikuwe banging. Hakuna shortcut. 
So wako hapo mazee wana brainstorm. Kijana wa Philadelphia, Scott Storch, ako kando ya nini? Keyboard. Ye ni kijana mdogo, e, anangoja instructions. So wako hapo tu anaona vijana wakijikuna kichwa. Dr. Dre amefika point sasa amefika mwisho, anashindwa ni nini nitafanya. So akaenda akatengeneza a looping drum beat. Drum beat tu fulani akai loop. So inacheza tu kwa studio. Wacha icheze tu hapo kwa background. Si tujikune kichwa tufikirie aki tutaika melodies gani aki kwa instrumental juu inatukula kichwa. So the eh, drum set iko hapo ime loop. Dr. Dre ubao imeingia. Akaambia vijana wadao Chani ningi hapa kitchen, tengeneze ka sandwich, mini dishi. Wachana ini na yu beat, a loop, yu drum beat. Ni drums peke, akukuwa na kitu kwa yu beat. Just the drums. Na haka ingia kitchen. Kijana wa Philadelphia. Ako hapo na keyboard yake, anasikiza yu loop. Then, haka anza tuku kutap. Keyboard. Anatap to keyboard. The thing that came out Dr. Dre na sandwich yake alirudi akasema that is it. I, species. Hebu gonga hiyo kitu. So, ya Dr. Dre Unasikia yako kana gonga? Hiyo ndio aliacha. Scott Stott na mkono mmoja. Species Stott wewe. Weka. Aijalishi kama unachukia hip hop aje. <laughs> si ndio? Yeah. That is one of the best instrumentals of all time. Nipelekeni mahali mna nipeleka. <laughs> the simplicity. Like ni kitu alifanya na one hand like this. One hand. In fact, akiulizwa yu sema the thing that made it so big is the sloppiness. Yo yo beat ina perfection. Unajua kwa music kuna kuaga na sijui zinaitangwaje but zinakuaga kama ni 4 4 4 4 si ndio hiyo haina kuna kuna beat moja inakawia sana then ina break kidogo inarudi kuna there's, there's just something that's off but in ili make it kwa so beautiful man ship hiyo kitu to Jay Z quick fast Jay Z akaandika hiyo song in a record i think 30 minutes and he wrote Dr. Dre's lines na Snoop Dogg. Na mpaka akaenda studio akazirecord akiwa imitate. Banga. Mimi sijuika kuna song ya hip hop ishaichukua awards nyingi kuliko Still Dre ya Dr. Dre featuring Snoop Dogg. I do not know. Akina feel to pigie to Scott Stott na coffee sababu. He's a genius. He's a genius. So now everyone is asking, yo, nani aliwapigia hiyo kitu? Dre najua najua design yako there's something different about still Dre Dre akamwambia mazee niko na kijana hapa mazee anaitwa Scott Storch ni hatari sana kijana wa Florida mnakumbuka nikiwaambia Scott Storch mama yake alikuwa wa South Florida baba ndio wa Philly kijana all the way from Florida anasikia eh kuna boy anaitwa Scott Storch huko anaua na mimi naona ni kama Scott Storch na wacha niingie Nione maze u boys ni nini yeye anafanya? Kijana mbigi maze anaingia LA, anakutana na Scott Storch. Wanapigana hapo ma wana nini ma ideas, ma ideas, ma ideas. Wo boys ako na squad inaitwa Terra Squad. Scott Storch anamwambia tulia. Nitawatengenezea anthem yenu kama Terra Squad. Na anaenda na kachini anavuta keyboard, anafanya mambo yake and the result mind blowing. Species gonga hiyo kitu. Forward. Yeah. Ha. Ah. 
Throw your hands in the air right now, man. Let me do your song. Feel this right here. Sky starts. Yeah, Khaled, I see you. Show best born law. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about your faults. Gata. Kuna mtu ajui lean back kwa hiyo auditorium nimalize story niende. Kuna mtu ajui lean back. So hata huyu anatambua lean back huyo huyo. Ame lean back na hiyo equipment yake mbaya. So maze the guy sasa ameanza kukua something else. Like the whole industry wanataka kujua maze Scott jo. Scott. Scott. In fact kuna lini moja niliona mahali maze. So the guy na wambia wa Terra Squad ni Fat Joe. Fat Joe ni kijana wa Florida. So wamekaa wamekuwa ni mabadis Joe na Scott Storch. So one time wako studio wanaunda beat ya ya um, Joe, Joe's next song. Akasikiza hiyo beat akaisikiza. Anasema hiyo beat ni kali. Lakini ile vile alikuwa amepanga kufanya hiyo song aingiane na hiyo beat. So akaambia Scott Storch, okay beat iweke tu maybe time yake itafika Scott Storch anakuja anakutana na kijana mwingine wa New York sasa amekuwa the biggest deal in the world huyo kijana anaitwa Curtis Jackson aka 50 cent anamwambia niaje buda maze tufanye kitu <laughs> before record song producers wanakuwa gana katabia anaenda pale kwa archives anakutolea tu a list of instrumentals anakuchezea tu ndio mjaribu tu mjam get your vibe anachomo ile instrumental alikuwa ametengenezea Fat Joe 50 anaskio instrumental ana cheesy anamwambia chief hata usinicheze kitu kingine nataka instrumental Scott anamwambia chief ni a Fat Joe man anamwambia ongea na Fat Joe please mimi niko tayari kulipa anything Fat Joe anataka nichukue instrumental So Scott ana call Fat Joe anamwambia ni aje kunile beat nilikutengenezea maze kuna boys anaitaka hapa mbaya sana jo itakuwaaje amza nani 50 cent ah kani 50 mpatie najua hata i waste hata iua Scott akamuuliza six times chief bro uko sure <laughs> nipatie huko kijana wa New York kitu kabisa 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 haya Siwende umekubali? Sawa. Scott anachukua, anapigia 50 anamwambia niaje come studio. Joe amekubali. Ingia pale booth, record, anamchezea instrumental 50 cent hapotezi wakati. Kupiga kuhua. Species. Welcome to the candy shop. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. So seductive. I take you to the candy shop. I let you the lollipop. Go ahead girl, don't you stop. Kuna mtu ajui hiyo song? Kama ujui niambie tu nifunge story niende. So tukianza hii story atakuwa tunajua Scott Storch ni nani. But mnaona vile oh boy ni heavy. Oh boy ni baba. So Scott Storch went on to become the one of the greatest music producers in the land. Mnajua <laughs> Dr. Dre amekaa ame after math bado inaendelea but akakama kageta corporate job eh, a music distribution eh, company inajita Interscope. Dr. Dre akaenda Interscope akapata pale kuna genius mwingine anaitwa Timbaland. Dre akaambia Timbaland chief chief you are not ready. <laughs> you are not ready wena. Nataka nikuunganisha na kijana hapa anaitwa Scott Storch. Najua mtafanya magic. Scott Storch anaingia kwa ofisi anakutanishwa na Timberland. Timberland anamsikiza, "Chaza vitu nisikie, good. Good. I like it." Niko na msanii hapa. Akina mama wanampenda. <laughs> Ladies wanakufa wakisikia huo mtu. Tunaweza fanya kitu pamoja. Scott akamwambia, "Kwani ni kesho?" Ingia wewe, ingia hapo mimi nifanye mambo yetu tu rekodi. Wakatengeneza kitu. Huyo msanii anapendwa na wamama, akaingia studio, 
akapiga vocals akawekelea wakaenda wakapiga final mix na wakai release hey! species kuna mtu wajui hiyo like kuna mtu wajui hiyo wimbo tafadhali crime ya river by who ona wa mama ndio wamejibu wanampenda Scott Storch now is on a whole different level. Scott Storch cannot walk from his car to the office. Sababu gani? Celebrities wamejipanga. Kila mtu ako na vocals. <laughs> yani wanataka 2 seconds na Scott Storch. 2 seconds. Maze method man, wacha nimalizane na wewe sasa. Ah Beyoncé ni aje. Ah. Nilikuwa nimekisha tukutane leo. But yenyewe pia kukuwa mreshi na saidia sababu pia Beyonce aliingia studio maze alipata tu hiyo mpenyo akapata chance na, na, na Scott Storch wakaingia studio akaleta kijana kutoka Jomeka Jomeka waka ay 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 nani species <laughs> ama nimekuchanganya ni hapo ni hapo cheza wasikie huyo mtu cheza be patient Yo mnapenda. <laughs> to cut the long story short. I don't remember which year this was, but on the top 100 billboard, Scott Storch had 85 hits. It's a record I jawai funjwa. And broken to date. Kuna song ya Beyoncé ile kwa inaitwa I'll be a naughty girl. Yeah. Unakumka kitu gani? Yeah. Naughty girl, I think ilikuwa inaitwa Scott Storch. 50 cent na kikosi yake G unit. Hiyo song nilikuwa na psych nayo hapa. Inajita popping them things. Scott Storch. Ah, yani I don't know if you guys are seeing the greatness. You are. So tunaweza enter the next phase of the story. Very good. <laughs> so now Scott Storch is the king. Pesa inakuja in boatloads. Scott Storch ajui cooperate kitu hivi hivi. No 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 no. No. Ju he's making more money than he can spend. So ameanza kwenda next level. Alikuwa na stake how fit. Akahama, akaenda kwa mansion ya 10 million dollars. Can afford it. Alikuwa anaendesha gari fiti, akawacha nayo, akanunua Bugatti ya 1 million dollars. Alikuwa bado na gari ingine fiti, akaona zi, demi yangu haizi kwa no, akanunua mbili, ndio yeye na demi yake waendeshe gari the same. Akakutana mazee na socialite anaitwa Paris Hilton. Paris akam uh, Akaenda shop akanunua 20 karat gold man, wakanunua zote mbili yani ndio wa match. Wao unanunua karot ya mbao unaiweka kwa makwapa. Watu wanacheza na 20 karat gold man. Scott Storch akakama ka discover maze ah is popping huko kwa mabahari bahari na vitu zinaitagwa yacht. Okay, wanaitaga yacht lakini si tulisomeshwa ni yacht. <laughs> Who has the biggest yacht you guys? How long is it? 80 100 foot wewe. Kwa nini kesho? Yacht ya 100 foot maze with his name on it. 
ma musicians kila time wakitaka ku shoot music videos kwa hizo mayot ni ya Scott Stott musicians walikuwa wanapiga music videos na gari za Scott Stott kwa videos jua wange afford garage yake ilikuwa inatolewa hivi magari zinaekwa kwa flatbed BMW oe zinaekwa kwa flatbed aki anani director ametukana lakini ni saa <laughs> zinapelekwa set ndio akina Fat Joe He was living the life Aka kama ka discover maze idoni mob sezi kwa na dem moja Aiwezi Aiwezi Maze pesa kumbe ndio kifunguo mimi siko najua Like sai bro ukiona madem wawili unakula pressure sai ngori Like hata unid madem wawili ukiwa tu na dem moja na fuliza na mshwari unakula ngori Unakula ngori. Kumbe pesa ndiyo kifunguo maze. Like pesa inaweza fanya ukwe na mademu wa nane na wote wanakupenda. Like mpaka wanasaidia nanga kufua kwa keja is. Pesa inafungua. Scott Stott, I kid you not. Sis, it's not at the figure of speech no. At some point Scott Stott had eight chicks. Four inside, four inside. Na wanampenda deadly. Like pesa ni beautiful you guys. It's ridiculous. He was the ish. Alikuwa anaenda trip za Europe. Anaambiwa na management ni aje tumekubukia business class. Ana puke. Kwa nini? Why are we living like paupers? Okay, ni kubump up to first class. Why? First class ina fai bebe ngombe. Chata wewe. Cha, kwa ni private jet ni how much? It's 200,000 dollars. Weke le- Bona tunasumbuana na pesa ni yangu. <laughs> Alikuwa anaenda ga Europe na majet za 200 Gs. Eh, just iko hiyo do iko. But ukiwa na do unakutana na, na watu. Number one, unakutana na billionaires na we bado ni millionaire. Na lifestyle yao inakubamba deadly. So unaanza kuishi vile hao wanaishi. But we si billionaire ni millionaire but unaishi billionaire lifestyle so at some point scott started spending more than he was making naona wacha nikwambie billionaires when you wameshakafunga biashara zao zina run whether they are there or not usiwaika na watu utapotea them biashara zao zinaendelea whether yuko ama yuko in run so yeye ni shere shere tunaenda kucheza golf wapi Cuba twende wewe ni milionea tu unamfuata Cuba ujui yeye bado anaingiza wewe anytime you're not in studio you're not making money but wewe uko Cuba hii kitu wanaanza ku experiment na expensive things cocaine billionaires wanavuta si hii yetu ya machuara na mashash no Okay nimeenda shule yani unasikia maze kucha hivi bana ni kama the 40000 dollars man like ni noma hizo ndio vitu Scott anataka ku experiment nazo billionaire lifestyle yeah bado ni millionaire wadao it got to a point Scott alifilisika unajua vile unaenda ukiuza kila kitu yacht gone um, Ferrari zake gone Bentley gone. Hii ingine, the fastest car ilikuwa inaitwa nini Bugatti gone. Aliuza kila kitu. He was broke. He's an addict. Jua anavutishwa hizo vitu na watu. Aliamka one morning in a 10 million dollar mansion with nothing to eat. Hakuwa na doya sandwich. But akokuwa hao ya 10m. He lost it. That's where he lost it. Aka toka, I think ali peana hiyo hao. I don't know what happened to that house. No, ilikuwa repossessed. Sababu alianza kuingia pia kwa madebt. Ju e time yenye anaishi hii life na afanye kazi, ana need ku finance hii lifestyle. So ana do nini? Anachukua ma loan na hiyo hao yake. So ilikuwa mikachukuliwa. So Scott Stott sasa ako kwa street. Kwa literally kwa street kwa corner. Unajua wale ma kwa kona. 
So depression imeingia, the boy is not okay. Amekuwa mchafu, amekuwa chokot sasa. Luckily for him, kuna two angels wanatembea hapa nje. Kuna two mdem, I think anaitwa Florence alimuona. Akasema mazee nime bump to song za um jamaa for the longest. It's hard to believe u boy ako kwa street ako homeless. Florence akachukua Scott and she cleaned him up akampeleka rehab madawa nini hiyo kitu itolewe kwa system na akaanza kumchange ya mindset rudi job hii kitu haujanyang'anywa but you still have it florence catered for everything i hope her name is florence ni siku ndo namuita jina si yake kila kitu she catered for everything and this is a stranger ali meet kwa street anamjua tu juu it's scott torch wale wase wa bigi walikuwa na line up kuona Scott Storch. Ai, si hata simu waliacha kuchukua. Ai, kwani si wewe unajua mtu anataka kukukopa, unachukua saa ngapi? So alipigwa blackout na kila mse. Stranger ndio alimtoa kwa street. So mazee ameduka zifiti sana na yeye. Scott Storch is back now. Ame produce yake na Chris Brown hizo stacheza hapa and they are too recent. Naweza pigwa ma copyright pale YouTube mbaya sana. Ame produce yake na Chris Brown like the new age rappers nini nini. So life yake imeanza kurudi. Amepata second chance. But he blew an empire worth more than a hundred million dollars. Hiyo haitawai rudi. Unless juu nini happen. That's good. Yeah. The life of Scott Storch, man. So akurugenzi. Hiyo ni 100 million dollars. Inakaa sasa hii okay mimi nikiwa na 100 million dollars nitaichunga beta. Sasa hii wacha ni blow hii 40,000 yangu. <laughs> Ikifika 100 million ai. Africa's pocket walikuwa nasema kama uwezi manage 250 shillings 200 million usi kitu isikudanganye utaweza ku manage. So again ndio tusiingie kwa hizi story www.africaspocket.com and then itu angalie kwa uko na do yako mahali bonga na maraia check vile hiyo do yako itakufanyia kazi mpaka wakati we mwenyewe hauendi kazi it's important do it now when we are still young na wakurugenzi ni watu wa young sana ndio tusikuje kukuwa ka scott scott sai mazea kwa yo, i think in his 50s ndio na try to patch things together maze msikubali au sio wadau na watambua sana nyinyi wa true my first show imekuwa awesome nyinyi ni wa deadly umenipatia masikio design sijapewa na mtu in a long time so joy story all the best kama kuna wase wana need kushuhudia hii mambo waite wakuje washuhudie na kama kawa kama dawa hii si yenu nyinyi mshafanya kazi yenu we watu wa nyumbani kama kawa kama dawa unaona hii tila hapa inalisha watu chaza kama wewe mtu yangu man na watambua sana it's been real adios muchachos peace Gaja 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 gaja. Ni mapenzi tu. Ni ma ni mapenzi tu. Love 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 love. love. Ah! <laughs> Yo! 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 How's lights? How's lights? How's lights? My god, Catherine Kamau ladies and gentlemen. Yo! Ah, we nakupenda nugu hii. Fuck you. Sorry. Sorry. Saseni. Mambo. Poa mami. So Manzelo ni medicide. Um we always give people flowers pale kwa casket, right? And I think it's time to give him his flowers now, right? Can we just stand up and appreciate him ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Thank you, mami. Thank you so much. What? Nyogwa nyogwa ikaraide. Yeah, otherwise? Otherwise too. How are you feeling? How are you guys feeling? Nilikuwa nimeona nimepaka makeup, nimemaliza shughuli nikashindwa what do I do? Sijaonekana enough. So anyway, I just came to show myself <laughs> off. Now to work on quick house lights kwa nini? Eh bune mulikeni please lakini nimelipia makeup. Eh jo makeup. No ramorekado. Guy. Ah yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Oh, thank so, you so, mommy. Thank you so much. Well, I'm true, maze. Shukran sana. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Mwanze. Kumbe ndume anaweza pewa maua. <laughs> hey. Mungu ni mso. Young and stupid. Young and stupid. Yeah.